all. It kind of reminds me of like Natural Girl meets Harley Quinn, which I thought was cute. <laughs> just dropped a new product line exclusively at Ulta called PAL. So a little about these products before I get into my full review. Um, the new line is called PAL, which stands for Products Obsessively Working. This product line is infused with Venus Bark, Conca Extract, Plantain Extract, Cinnamon Bark, and Angelica Root. So I did Google just to see like why it was significant to mention that it was infused with those things. And the conclusion that I came to is that all of those have like healing properties as far as like wounds, eczema, keratosis. So I kind of came to the conclusion that this is supposed to have healing properties for your scalp. I don't know, it's not what she said, but that's what those ingredients do. Cause I'm always like, where do y'all come up with what you want to include and why and what it does? But I'm getting off topic. Products are exclusively at Ulta. Like I said, they range from about $15.99 to $18.99 cause that's how much their hair mask was. So I'll let you determine whether it's worth it by the end of this video. There were five products. I only picked up four. I picked up the shampoo, the leave-in, the hair mask, and the gel. I just kind of felt like the regular conditioner. I like deep conditioners. That's the running thing here. So I didn't pick it up. So let's just go ahead and get right into this. Wet my hair just by putting it underneath the shower head. And as you can see, I had a lot of product just sitting on top of it. And the shampoo really got rid of all of that. Um, the consistency was kind of thin, but I really did like the way that it lathered. It lathered fairly easily, and I appreciated that. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like um, with the shampoo washed out. My hair feels, <laughs> it feels very clean. Um, I wouldn't say that the products stripped my hair. It's almost like a squeaky clean because I actually did hear it like squeak as I was washing it out, but it doesn't feel stripped and dry, even though it's soaking right, right now, but it um, it's definitely clean. I got a little curl action. Yo, my hair is soaking wet. My hair really holds on to this water. The shampoo is cool. I like it. I don't dislike it. No shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the hair mask. I don't know if I mentioned this, but these products say that it is for all hair types. So, I don't know. I just read that and I don't know. It kind of gives me pause because how does something work for all hair types? Let's open this mask up. It smells like candy. It smells like, man. It's very sweet. I know I always say the white airhead, but it's like that and a little like bubble gummy. It's sweet. Oh, this is, it's purple. Oh yeah, my hair is super soft after um, rinsing the shampoo out and like it's not tangled, which is a good thing. I also trimmed my hair, so I'm sure that helps. But you see how easily I like parted through that? So that's nice. So the directions for the mask say, after cleansing with the PAL shampoo, apply a generous amount from roots to ends. Massage gently into hair, especially the ends, and distribute evenly. Cover hair with a plastic cap and sit under a hooded dryer for 15 minutes. Maybe left with a plastic cap for up to one hour without heat. Rinse thoroughly and follow with PAL leave-in conditioner. Style as usual. Use every one to two weeks for best results. Oh, I almost spilled it. I already got my hair sections off or whatever. Gonna use a generous amount. 
Yeah, see that? It's way more purple than it is showing up. Oh, it's smoothing into my hair, it feels like. And I'm gonna be generous. You don't have to tell me that twice. Okay, it feels like I can finger detangle because it is smoothing right through my hair. And you know, having type four hair, your hair is just prone to just like curling on top of each other. So. All right. Smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. I use a generous amount and it looks as if it's penetrating into my hair. Like you don't really see any like laying on top of it, which when I use a lot of product, you typically see like it building up, but it looks as if it's penetrating my strands. So I'm just going to apply this all over and pull out my good old hooded dryer. I'm not gonna sit under my steamer like I typically do and come back and let you know what's up. I sat under my hooded dryer for 15 minutes and I don't know if I really should have done that because I felt like the product dried in my hair, but um, I guess we can take it down and see how it feels. Um, my hair feels pretty soft. We got a little curl poppage, a little, you see how that one just kind of sprung up on its own, which is cool. It feels pretty soft. I don't have any complaints. I got all of it out. Cause you know, typically I like to leave a little hair mask in there or whatever, but y'all my natural, my fingernails are horrible. They're like ripping my hair out right now and it's pissing me off but okay uh let's get into this leave-in conditioner um okay still purple can y'all see that creamy consistency the scent isn't as strong as the mask or the shampoo, but it's still there. It's still sweet. Um, let's add a little more. Typically, I really just prefer to um, finger detangle and not really use a brush, but today I decided I'm going to do a wash and go. And so I should really make sure these products are like penetrating into my hair. And just try and make sure my hair is really covered. So the slip isn't like amazing, as you can tell. Um, but I can brush through my hair. It's absorbing into my hair. No real curl, like super poppage or anything. Yo, this wash and go is about to be super short on this trimmed hair. <laughs> But whatever. <laughs> the leave-in conditioner, distribute evenly from hair. I mean, distribute evenly throughout the hair from roots to ends and style as desired. Use as needed. Seal cuticles for all hair types. I'm, it's, there's nothing special about 
about this um, leave-in conditioner. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, I would say. So I guess we can just move right along. Move it right along. Somebody knocking on my door. Oh, I do have my spray bottle. <laughs> Damn. So, cause I do want to keep my hair damp while I'm going through and doing this wash and go. And now it is time to take a look at this gel. So, um, section clean, wet, damp hair. Apply a sufficient amount of gel to each section from root to end, style as desired. Air dry or for fast drying, sit under hooded dryer or use a diffuser. Pretty much. Um, oh, you, you definitely see the consistency. It's almost like the, the shampoo. This smells grapey. Um. Yeah, it's very, very liquidy, like very. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, we're getting out of control here. So yeah, and it has glitter in it. I don't know if you can really see those specks of glitter. I don't really know how I feel about specks of glitter, because I mean, it is glitter infused. Maybe it'll like melt into my hair. I don't know, I'm making stuff up. Hair is good and detangled. They're just going to take a generous amount. Oh, it's very, it's almost like creamy. Um, it's a, it's not like a custard. It's a little thicker than a custard, but it feels really good going into my hair. Kind of like it should be kind of moisturizing almost. So we're just gonna work this in. Make sure I hit these good old ends because we really want those to pop. That's how this is looking so far. I always get so nervous about washing up. This is not a wash and go tutorial, so I am going to just continue throughout my hair. This is my hair about halfway done and I really just wanted to apologize in advance because this video is going to get blurry. So I have applied all the products. Um, I just shook my hair out in the bathroom just so it could catch its shape or whatever. Um, there's a little like residue right now, but I feel like that's just because my hair is soaking wet. So we'll see what that looks like when it dries. And, okay, yeah, we'll be back either today or tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow, because it takes my hair three days to dry. So, most likely you'll see tomorrow. So, this is my final look. This is my completely dry wash and go. Um, I did go run a few errands, and this is my hair stretched. So if it looks a little frizzy, that's my doing. Um, it wasn't the gel at all. That's just me trying to stretch my hair. My curls are just tighter in some places. But anyways, back to these products. Um, uh, so as you can see, I have like a product like residue where it's kind of white. And I don't know if that's because I use too much product in the front because my hair has a looser curl pattern or if it's that glitter building up, but that happened. Um, but my curls are very defined. Um, they look good. I'll show you the back. I really don't know what this looks like. So hopefully it's not too crazy. Um, this gel definitely has more of a medium hold. It's not super crunchy, but it's also not soft at all. It's nothing a little oil if you wanted to run oil over it that couldn't break the cast up, but I like it for my, my 4C tendrils. If I had to give a recommendation for which products you should buy, 
I would probably go with the shampoo and the gel. Those two were probably my favorite products. Sorry, I didn't have a chance to try the conditioner. I've heard great things about it. As far as this leave-in, you can leave it right where it's at. And the mask was okay, but for $18.99, I kind of needed to blow my mind. That's all that I'm saying. You know, try it at your own risk. I didn't hate it. I just don't know if it was $18.99 worth of love. So, yeah, comment down below and tell me what you think about these products. Uh, thumbs up if you like this video. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe, all of you product junkies out there, because this is all y'all really want from me. And I know it. And I've been giving it to y'all for the last few weeks. So, go ahead, subscribe, and we'll keep this thing going. All right, I'll see you next time.